Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're unboxing the Lenovo Yoga C740 14 inch. Now, there is a 14 and a 15 inch model, they're very different. Um, this is the only one that I've reviewed, of course. Now, this guy has 10th generation Intel Core processors, 8 gigs of RAM, and 512 gig SSD. Uh, about what you'd expect. It's actually Comet Lake. We'll get into that in a moment. The 15-inch, though, it has 9th gen processors, H-series, which is the 45-watt family of Intel processors. And then it has dedicated graphics as well. So this has a 15-watt chip. It's a lot more standard for, you know, your Ultrabook form factor and convertibles and such. Sometimes you see those 15-inch convertibles have that 45-watt process. There's a lot more power in there. But I mean, that's what you get the bigger PC for. You know, if you're in a, if you're getting a 13 or a 14 inch device, you're gonna get that U series processor. Like I said, this is Comet Lake. Now, this is interesting to me because it's a Core i5 10210U. Okay, so weirdly, the the 10th generation from Intel this time around is super confusing. Usually, there's like one Core i5, or there, at least from the U series. You know. Um, 8th gen, there, there was, well, there was two families of 8th gen. There was like two generations of 8th gen. There was KB Lake R, and then there was Whiskey Lake. So there's there's usually one, and then there's a V Pro variant of that one. Now, this time there's four. Now, 10th generation is a combination of Ice Lake and Comet Lake. Ice Lake is the new fancy 10 nanometer processor that Intel was delaying for years. And it also comes with Iris Plus graphics. So you have three different models. There's the, the Core i5-1035, G1, G4, and G7. G4 and The G number is graphics power, and the G4 and G7 are Iris Plus. So the G7 is the best Iris Plus. And then the G1 is just without, um, without Iris Plus at all, and it's regular UHD graphics like we've seen for a while. Now, Comet Lake is still 14 nanometers like we've seen uh, since, I think, Sky Lake. Now... Uh, it's also UHD graphics. So what we've got between the Core i5-1035G1 and the Core i5-10210U is basically a difference between 10 nanometer and 14 nanometer. Same graphics power it should be. Now, interestingly though, this should be the better CPU, the Comet Lake, because to get down to 10 nanometer, Intel actually had to lower the clock speed a little bit. So um, I haven't actually tested the CPU yet. The Comet Lake Core i5. I actually, I've, I've, I've reviewed PCs with a Core i5 1035G1 and a G4. The G1 was in the Acer Swift 3 that I just reviewed, and the G4 was in the Surface Pro 7 that I reviewed. So I'm really interested to put that Acer that I just reviewed, um, just as far as as like productivity performance goes, up against this Core i5 10210U. So let's open up the box because that's probably what you came here for, not an explanation on Intel CPUs, but you got that anyway. And uh, it, it's important because like this 10th generation lineup is super confusing. If you were, you know, like like for mainstream consumers, the general advice is just like get a Core i5. You know, and and the thing is, that's that's not a simple suggestion anymore. Um, so you can see, there's no uh, there's no fancy box in the box. Sometimes Lenovo's yoga PCs do come with that extra consumer friendly, nice looking box in there. That's that's just we just got the little styrofoam. All right, and then we got a charger. It's a 65 watt USB Type C charger. All pretty standard stuff. One thing that you will not find in this box is a pen. It does support the Lenovo Active Pen 2. Yes, it's called the Active Pen 2, um, which supports 4,096 le uh, levels of pressure sensitivity. However, it does not come in the box. And um, it's $69.99. You could buy it separate. What's kind of cool about that, though, like the, the C740, this is the, uh, it's, it's the mainstream lineup. The premium lineup is the uh, C940, and that comes with a pen. It comes with a pen in a little pen garage. It's, it's, it's very cool, but, um, you know, this is more mainstream. This device, as configured, Core i5-10210U, 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, $699. Like, whoa, you know, like that, that's a solid price for, a, for, you know, a solid convertible. It's, if you go on Lenovo's website, and you spec it out with a, it's a Core i7, I believe it's 10510U, 
um, 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. It's like 1200 bucks. You know, that that's, it maxes out at, at just over $1,200, which is kind of wild. You know, a um, couple things. You can see we have speakers right on top of the keyboard. They're Dolby Atmos speakers. But um, what you don't get is the sound bar. That was one of the big selling points of the Yoga C940 is that there's a rotating sound bar in the hinge all the way across here. So you got this phenomenal audio. It's it's um, it's a really great PC. So, so what we're seeing with the 740 is what we see with a lot of mainstream PCs. You take out some of those premium features and you leave it with just what's what adds up to being a really great PC. So if we take a look at the screen here, they've really shrunken down the bezels a lot this year. One thing that I noticed with last year's uh, C730 was that they actually had quite large bezels. They did have an OLED model on the 15.6 inch one, which I, I'm I'm bummed to see they didn't bring that back. Um, it's not on the, it's, I don't know if it's ever gonna be on a 14 inch one, but yeah, you know, if, if you're looking for OLED PCs, just take a look at what's out there. Cause frankly, they're just, aren't any 14 inch OLED PCs out there, you know, I, I, you know, but, um, as far as software goes, it's pretty standard. Lenovo, Lenovo is pretty good at, at sticking to what comes with windows, except for of course, McAfee, which I don't know what it is. You know, every consumer PC wants to come with some kind of antivirus software. And, uh, that will be the first thing that I'll uninstall. Obviously I'm going to do a factory reset first, which I always do on new PCs. Um, like I said, we have Dolby Atmos speakers on the side. They should sound pretty good. I do have faith in the, the Lenovo Yoga series. It's it's pretty solid and it always has been. As far as ports go, we got a pretty solid array or what I would expect, I'm going to I'm going to say. We have over on this side, it's two USB 3.1 Gen 1 type C ports. 3.5 millimeter combo audio jack and over here 3. Point, uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1 type A and then of course you've got the power button over there with a little LED light to indicate that it's on um, you know yeah no no Thunderbolt 3 but I think that's fine I think uh, you know the Thunderbolt 3 is still really more of a premium component for PCs these days so uh, I'm not complaining about that uh, I'm I'm just happy that it charges through USB Type C again, 699 PC, and I think that's okay. We have a privacy shutter in the in the webcam here. There is no IR camera for Windows Hello, so um, I will take that privacy shutter. Honestly, privacy shutters are kind of a pain if you've got if you've got an IR camera, and and I'll tell you why. It's just you know if you if you close it, the IR camera obviously doesn't work. And so you kind of have to be conscious of you. If you're the type of person that wants to just keep that closed all the time, it's, it's just a simple pain point when you're turning on your PC, you know? So yeah, no IR camera. You do have a fingerprint sensor right over here. What this is really all about is just checking the right boxes to put together a right, a right, the right package for a great PC at a great price. You know, um, there's always that that sacrifice that's kind of made between a premium PC and a mainstream PC and where you look at like what don't we need what this can still be a great PC we could chop out some pieces and and let's see where it leaves us obviously it's a convertible hence the the C branding that C stands for convertible in C740 um, if it was an S it would be a clamshell and they were at one point going to use D for detachable but I I don't think they ever made one which uh, they, they were planning to at some point. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. So you can you can use it as a tablet. We could switch to tablet mode. You know, um, tent mode where you kind of stand it up like so and you just, you can watch a movie or do a presentation. This is actually called presentation mode like this. And um, yeah, it, that, that's the job of a convertible. And of course, if you have the pen, you can draw, you can mark up photos in the photos app, you can draw roots in the maps app. Personally, I like to take handwritten notes in OneNote, and um, yeah, it's all there. So the screen that you get on this is 14 inch 1080p. There's no 4K option or anything like that. Um, that's something if you want 4K, you gotta go to the, the C940. Also for the, the C940, you get that Dolby Atmos soundbar, the pen garage with the pen in it, with the pen in it. <laughs> um, 
And then, of course, um, you get isolate processors with Iris Plus graphics. Um, and then, of course, it's much more expensive. So uh, it, it is, you know, thinking about it, it is maybe a little weird that um, there isn't maybe one more tier between the C740 and the C940. But, I mean, this, this like, I can tell you right now this is going to be a pretty great PC and, and a solid value at, at $699. You know, um, like, like I said, mo most people, a lot of people ask me what kind of PC they should buy. And it's a tough question because the, the, my question is always, well, what are you going to do with it? And, uh, or how much are you, you willing to spend? And the, the, how much you willing to spend is really more important because people who say, oh, I don't need all the fancy stuff that, that you need. Like, it's not about the, fancy stuff because it's not that you can really do more with a $2,000 PC versus a $1,000 PC. They do the same thing. It's the quality of experience that you want. So really, do you need Thunderbolt 3 in a PC? And think about that question because you should think about what you can actually do with Thunderbolt 3. Maybe you want to hook up an external GPU. Really? You never thought about doing that? Then you probably don't need Thunderbolt 3. You know, um, 4K display, you're probably okay without it. It sucks down the battery life anyway, unless you want that beautiful picture, which I'm a beautiful picture 4K type of guy. Um, but hey, that's up to you. If you care about battery life more, then again, you're good with 1080p. For most people, a Comet Lake Core i5 is just fine. 8 gigs of RAM is just fine. This PC could be perfect for you. You know, so... Um, who knows? So anyway, guys, that's the Lenovo Yoga C740 14-inch, and I'll have a review on that in a couple weeks, so stay tuned. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.